Okay, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Julia Fernandez, and I'm, called, I'm talking today from Gothenburg in Sweden and representing our national microscopy infrastructure. And today, since we're talking about the volume EM, and I want to remind you that we have two sites, uh, one in Umea with the focus ion beam, and the second one here in Gothenburg with the array tomography. I will start. Uh, discussing why array tomography. Well, it's, it's a system that allows us to do both uh, correlative array tomography and to do volume EM uh, in a non-destructed manner. And what that means is that we actually collected uh, uh, serial sections on silicon wafer or tapes. And that's uh, uh, quite important for especially clinical and preclinical applications where you don't want to destroy and you want to come back to the sample. It is also very important uh, for correlative uh, series where you cannot tag your proteins and you might have to use antibodies. And this is especially if we're working with human samples or primates or some biopsies or plants. And then if you actually want to know more uh, and interesting and doing correlative array tomography, we will be very happy to you visit us here in Sweden or at least you contact us and we will help you. Hi, I'm Nala Lim from University Medical Center Utrecht. Our lab is part of Dutch Correlative Light and Electron Microscopy Node of Eurovoy Imaging. Dutch Club Node is actually composed of four microscope facilities located across the Netherlands, University Medical Center Groningen, Leiden University Medical Center, Delft University of Technology, and us in University Medical Center Utrecht. In our node, collectively, we offer multiple technologies for volume electron microscopy, namely serial block phase scanning electron microscopy, serial section transmission electron microscopy, and focused ion beam scanning electron microscopy. Uh, as an example, recently we have contributed to a study uh, on the role of ER lysosome interactions uh, in neuronal organelle organization and visualized that ER lysosome contacts at preaxonal region regulate actually the axonal lysosome availability in the neurons. Uh, in addition to contributing uh, research of other uh, researchers, uh, we are in our notes uh, actively developing new workflows uh, to link live cell imaging to volume electron microscopy technologies to study organelle scale biology questions. Uh, and also we develop methodologies for faster and higher content volume electron microscopy image acquisition. If you're interested and would like to use volume EM in the Netherlands for your research, please contact me or the Eurobio Imaging Office. Thank you. My name is Eija Jokitalo, and I am the head of the EM unit at the University of Helsinki. We belong to Finnish Advanced Light Microscopy node. Our node offers volume EM at various volume and resolution ranges using two block phase imaging techniques. We are a multi-user facility and over 15 years have imaged different types of cells and tissue from simple model organisms to mice, plants and human tissue. In most of our projects, we combined various imaging technologies, for example, light microscopy and EM, or MRI and EM, or go from large volume EM to high resolution EM. Image analysis is also close to our heart, and in conjunction with our EM projects, we have developed own software solutions for segmentation and image analysis. Via Europio Imaging, we are welcoming you to conduct your volume EM project with us here in Finland. Mm -hmm. 